Welcome to part two of a rock, paper, scissors, apple watch app. And in this part, we're going to have the computer decide what it's going to choose and start making results screen. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now we're going to do something when, when you click on these buttons and I'm just going to create a function here called compute data. And this is where we, where our data is going to, well, where our computer is going to choose our, you know, what we're going to, uh, what it's going to uh, choose, basically, rock, paper, or scissors. And that's when we're going to decide who wins, who loses, uh, or who, you know, ties, I guess. So, let's do... Uh, player choice. So, player choice. Actually, I'm going to player object because that's what the, what the object shows. I'm going to just uh, set this as a string. And I'm going to go compute data and I'm going to go for this emoji here. And same thing. I'm just going to do the same thing for paper and scissors. So paper and scissors. Now you can go ahead and run this, but uh, let me just, uh, when running this, you have to go and click this and go to rock, paper, scissors, watch kit app and go here and you can see some simulators. Um, and I'm gonna go with iPhone 8, Apple Watch series three. So let's, let's just run it and see what happens. Okay, so now we can actually see a background and this, and well, I'm clicking on this, but it's not doing anything. So let's just stop the app and we're actually going to do some, well, um, some computer stuff. <laughs> and, and so first of all, we're going to, uh, actually uh, like make the computer decide what to choose and no we're not going to do any AR we're just going to have some uh, simple randomness so let's uh, computer oh actually I'm going to call this CPU choice because you know people use the term CPU a lot um, and I'm going to go arc for random uniform and this arc for random uniform just chooses a random number. And so if I choose three, then it's going to go, uh, so it's going to choose number between zero and three, but you don't, so it's from zero to three, a number from zero to three, excluding three. So it's instead zero to two. So, so now we have this, we're going to actually create a variable called CPU object. And so this will be the object that the CPU or computer chose. So if the CPU choice is equal to zero, uh, then we do this and then, or else then we do this. Oh, actually, else if CPU choice is equal to one, and else. So what do we do inside here? Well, for for first one, what if CPU choice is zero, I'm gonna set the CPU's object to be rock. So it's gonna be rock, rock. And I'm just gonna copy this over. So, so now if it's one, then I'm gonna give it paper and if it's nothing else, then... Okay, and now we have uh, the CPU object. Now we just have to decide who wins and who loses. So, so first of all, let's just check if uh, what variable called the results. And that's, and, and the result is just going to be like, you know, uh, Apple Watch wins, you win, or tie. Um, and so, first of all, if the CPU 
object is equal to player object, meaning that they're the same, then the result is going to be equal to pi, like that. And we're going to do an, another statement. So if the CPU object is equal to, um, I don't know, a uh, rock, and and the CPU object is equal, wait, no, not CPU object, and the player object is equal to, um, so the, the player object is equal to, um, so what beats, so what loses to rock? Scissors. Okay, scissors. And I'm going to put this into brackets because I'm just going to go or, and then I'm going to go here, I'm going to just do this and that. So basically if it's uh, paper uh, and if the CPU object is scissors. So what loses to paper? Well, rock. So if the player object is rock. And what loses to scissors? Um, not rock. Paper. So then we're going to do that. So, so, so now the result is going to be um, Apple Watch with an emoji. So I'm going to go to search for watch. Here we go. Oh, what a coincidence. It looks just like an Apple Watch. Apple Watch wins. Okay. And so I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it over here. And this is where you win. Not you wins. You win. I'm going to switch. Oops. I'm going to switch CP object with player object. So I'm going to do that with this. Player object. And player object. And actually, I'm gonna just turn this into single view because it's kind of getting small. So, interface controller. Uh, there we go. So, um, player object, player object, and CPU object. CPU object. And CPU object. Now, I'm just gonna. So now here's, we have all the data that's needed. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to create another function called send data. Uh, I'm just going to move this over a bit. Yeah, there. And so send data will just send the data off to the next um, interface controller, which we will make uh, later. Um, so, so send data will require the players the player's choice so the player's object which is a string the cpu's choice string and the last one will be the result so the outcome which will also be a string so here i'm just going to call send data so player's choice will be the player's object cpu choice will be the cpu's object and result is going to be result there we go um, so we have that data and we're just going to, uh, first of all, create the new interface controller. Okay, so let's head back to the interface controller and I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to drag in an interface control. Oh, it's right here. Um, and I'm just going to drag it in right here. And first of all, I'm going to click on the top bar of the main screen. And I'm going to change the identifier to main. Inter and the second one is going to be uh, the result. Now, for this main identifier, no, that's not really needed, actually. I'm, so, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, but the result is needed. Um, so, because we're actually going to do a segue programmatically. And I'll, I'll show you what a segue is, if you, if some of you don't really, if some of you don't know yet. Um, and so, let's just uh, start off by creating our first group. 
so I'm gonna do a group and this is going to be a background so I'm just gonna do uh, relative to container just like last time and I'm gonna send this out now there's not really a need there's no there's not much need for censoring it out but I just like to keep things clean um so here's a group and I'm just going to uh, put so first of all I'm just going to put a, a group here and that's going to be here and it's going to be at the top uh, and oops uh, this group is meant to be inside the, the big group where the background is let me just drag it in drag it in there we go and and I'm and this is going to be at the top just like what I said before um, and I'm gonna just for just for a placeholder I'm gonna set the background to win so here it is and I'm just gonna add two labels in here so one is in here one another one is in here okay First of all, this is going to, for this first label is going to be at the uh, the bottom on the left, and this is going to be on the right at the bottom. Uh, and this one is going to be uh, actually first of all, I'm gonna set this width to be zero point eight, and I'm gonna set this to the center, uh, just so it's, it's like this, and you know. Because there's limitations to where you uh, where you can place objects, sometimes you have to do a, a, a few tricks to make it look good. Uh, I'm gonna also set this width relative to the container. I'm gonna do 0.1, uh, 1.5 I think is enough. So here it is, and this is going to be called. No, this is going to be called. Hmm, what is it? What should it be? Hmm. Ah, yes, you. And the second one is the um CPU because that's what CPUs are called. Okay, so now let's do a line divider or a separator. And I've never really touched base on this. Uh, and so. What a separator is is um, is basically it's just a line. It it's just for decoration and uh, the layout for. I'm not just gonna set the groups layout, so it's gonna be vertical. And this separator is gonna be white. Uh, and I'm gonna set the width to be a little bit smaller, so zero point zero point uh, nine. And I'm gonna set this in the center. There we go. And now we're going to actually create another group. So let's go to group. Just drag another one in. I'm just dragging in it inside the hierarchy, sorry. So everything is perfect. Uh, and I'm going to have another label, which is going to be inside this group. Uh, right and left. And I'm just going to... Uh, and just for also for placeholder, I'm gonna set this to be a rock. And I'm gonna set this to be hmm what else is there? Uh what loses to rock? Scissors. Scissors. Okay. And let's uh let's go to the group and set the to be 0 0.9, uh, set this to be centered, oh I'm gonna set this to be 0 0.8, actually before we do that I'm gonna uh, make the size of this to be bigger, so I'm gonna set this to system and I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this to big old 25, 25, I think 25 is enough. Uh, 25 and we're going to go to system 20 25 there we go 
and let's set the gap or set the width to be 0.85 um I think that's pretty good uh, so let's let's now add another label this is going to be in the center and I'm going to set relative to container uh, so so actually yeah, this is going to be in the bottom because well get to the bottom um and just before I forget I'm gonna add another group to this uh, so I can so I can then actually put these three inside this group and I need to remember to change this to vertical and this is going to be centered well actually I'm gonna go top but I'm going to do relative to container 0.5 uh, and this is going to this is going to be in the bottom bottom so so I can so this is just so I can um, move this down and ooh, what happened here ah two three there you go and so I'm just going to move this down a bit. Oops, I think 0 0.5 is enough. And I'm going to set the horizontal center, align this to the center, and set this to the center. Um, and actually, I'm not going to set this at the bottom. I'm going to set this in the center so I can actually have, um, so I can actually bump up this a bit. Um, like this. Yeah, I mean, just like what I said before, there's always you always have to do a few tricks and up your sleeve. So you win. And I'm gonna set this text size to be system, and I'm gonna do a big thirty. And oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna set this like that. Yeah, that's it for part two of the Rock, Paper, Scissors app. And in part three, we're going to use the data for who wins or loses and use that for our results screen. For more, visit my website at www.maybyuma.com and my Twitter is at Yuma Surianto. Also, please hit the subscribe and like button. And goodbye!